All right, so yeah, I think the last time that I saw these guys play was it? Was it was it at RTZ? Uh, it was at RTZ's. Uh, and that was weekly. the infamous jump off stage Thor. <laughs> yes, the jump off stage Thor. Yep. Uh, fun fall fact, death. according, I asked Huyan about these guys these two's records last season. Those are the only sets Muse took the entire season. Off Johan. It's just that we have Oh, this, before this PR season, right? Uh, like the last set. PR season. Yeah. Those, those, those two sets at RTZ is the only sets um, Muse won, apparently. But uh, we always have this weird dynamic in our top players where it's like Johan always beats Muse, Muse like always beats Jesus, and then Yo at the end, Johan started to always beat Jesus last season. I, I mean, at the end, uh, well, for most of the season, Jesus always beat Johan. And then we had Chuck who beat everyone except Jesus occasionally. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> It was a, kind of an interesting rock, paper, scissors, and then Muse started beating Jesus more regularly as well um, towards the end of the scene last season. Ooh. Um, but Muse has started to put things together, as you can kind of see in this particular set. Um, yeah, he's, he's just got to smother Rob and not let him get his thunder charges, because I think all of the charges besides uh, Thorn get uh, beat they, by boomerangs and bombs. They, they do, and also if you interrupt the charge itself, it, uh, stops, before the entire, it, it stops the entirety of the charge. Yeah. So this is it's this matchup is just uh Cam oh. Robin. Yeah. I think almost he might almost be low on Elwins because he used so many of them in that jab right there. If you don't know, Robin's multi jab does use up Elwin charges. So does his fire jab. Oh there, down throw up there. Nope, down throw yeah. there. So Robin doesn't actually get that many uh, confirms off grabs until you get to checkmate. And then he gets the best one. No a little a little flub. Okay, I like the back throw there because it gives him time to charge uh, and thunder. And control his, as well, yeah. which puts him in a his lot thunder of choice. Is he going to Oh! Nope. Just, uh... Just enough to survive. Yep. Are we going to see uh, Arc Thunder come out soon? He's got the charge. Yep, he's just throwing it out. Not going to hit, though. So, now, now he doesn't have any thunder or uh, 11 charges, so we're going to see him... Probably going to see him use some Nair. Oh, he does. Got his 11 back. I don't think he's. In, I don't think checkmate worked at this percent. So that's. Uh, so he's gonna, now uh, Muse is at Thorn kill range, and Thorn will just plow through all of his projectiles. That was a really bad Thorn though. At least it was on stage this time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Shout outs. So, oh, see, Muse, wow. Muse has been doing that a lot more. Where the he cross does ups. the cross up, no, back air, the cross up back air, because uh, you'll be you'll be expecting like uh, up air or forward air, so you'll be behind away or behind in. Well, if you expect the forward air, it'd be the DI game. Right. And then that's like the worst DI for back air. Absolutely. Because the angle is like really weird. Oh? Up tilts? Nope. He went for another back air. I think he was just trying to get the just stage one, control. One like straight aerial will uh, kill him at this point. Or a thorn. Or back fill the ledge. Even. Or Ignis. <laughs> uh, I think the Arc Thunder will kill. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, even two. Yeah. Thorn. Oh, man. He's just jumping over it. Or the book too would also kill. Oh my God! See, every, everything beats. Oh my God! All, all things options beat uh, the thunder charges except the one. Oh yeah, I was about to say Muse needs to be very mindful of the Ooh, book. That but, uh, the book barely killing. I don't think that was bad DI. I think he was just locked in. I mean, the DI wasn't. I think he would. He would have lived here. Yeah, Ooh, Art Thunder eats boomerang. I didn't know that. I don't actually watch his matches because uh, usually, because as you can see, this is almost three and a half minutes right now. Or am yeah. I am I bad at counting? No, you're right. Three and a half. You're three and a half minutes. Your school's doing you decent. Well, it's Oklahoma. I, I mean, like, I, you don't have high expectations. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. But we have high expectations so for a Smash player. So he's going to use the boomerang to... Okay, I was going to say, yeah, that's going to be an option. We're going to have a best of five of this. <laughs> sometimes they're really quick, actually. Yeah, um, sometimes. It's very interesting. And then sometimes we get one of these. Very, where very it's, grindy. Where it's just Johan pressing the R button and then the B button and then the R button again and then Muse pressing a lot of B buttons. Muse's uh, item play has been getting really good with that boomerang. He's been ma yeah, manipulating he's, where it's going and things like that. Uh, the boomerang advantage. will try to go back to you. It won't, it won't always exactly grab, like go towards your character. Well, it'll always go towards your character, but, but it won't it always go end up where you are. Yeah. It goes in your general direction. Oh, he's gonna try to get the arc thunder. Is he gonna try to ignis here, or maybe get a up air or back air? I think it's just gonna be go go for a grab at this point. If uh, Muse can't put this together, thunder, he's definitely yeah. gonna be a pretty good uh, Johan hasn't bad been situation. Hitting these arc thunders. I'd, if I was him, I'd probably be just be going straight for the full on charge. So I get like that one relief in neutral, where I guess just get to beat where he's. Because then Muse has to be uh, more scared if he has a full on charge. 
because if he does a bad Oh, that's it. But as I was saying, if he does like a bad projectile, he'll just get the line will just go straight through it. And it won't always kill because Thorn is weird. Is, it's not like the kill power is weird on it. Like sometimes. Oh yeah, it's like the last hitbox, like the one that's gonna be the most. And of course, you want to get the damage from the early hits too, so you get that much more knockback after uh, yeah. after it fully hits. Bring it back down, guys. Going into game two, we're we're to switch one. Smash ten by Yo. I'm assuming Town City is banned. And uh, I heard I don't think Johan likes FD, so I guess Smash is his go-to option. I mean, it's not bad. Um, that's where their game five went to um, at uh, FGC, or not FGC. FGC. Uh, at oh, RTC, fighting sorry. game community, man. When did they get into that? I know, right? Up at there? RTC. Yep. See, oh, the dare actually getting used back to safety. Well, his back air is actually low key broken because the strong hitbox kills and the weak hitbox combos. You're right. You just opt in to throw the boomerang away so you can kind of get a little bit of a additional hitbox uh, thrown in. That's Ooh. really creative. What you saw Mew do there is he threw the bomb on Johan's shield, then he caught it, then he immediately kept drifting over his shield and threw it down to add more shield pressure in case Johan tried to act Oh, so the call straight out! Straight forward smash is going to take him out. I'm starting to kind of feel like this is a more favorable matchup for Toon Link. Uh, the more I look at it. I've, I've watched it a few times, not that often, but as I watch it, I just feel like it looks pretty hard for Robin. I'm not gonna exactly I'm, like, say for sure it is, because I don't know the matchup. These two have like, been playing this for like a year and a half now. Yeah. It's like the only matchup they play versus each other. Johan no longer uses Sonic. Oh, yep. yep. Check it, going to take it. So it's Johan is gonna so, do his so undercharge free of choice. when you're at low percents. Like, Rage is not necessarily a factor in that at all. Uh, another missed one. At least he's not killing himself. But yeah. he should probably be hitting him. He's not been hitting plenty of at all. He's gotten like a few straight ones. But he hasn't been getting the big ones like Ignis's, like, like Arc Thunders at the ledge to get some early kills or the one the high percent. He's just eat the projectiles. And he's just not There it oh, goes. Oh, there we right. go. Oh, double jump. He's going to grab that. He tried to. Turn the bomb down. Oh, turn around grab. I think that might have been a mistake. Man, but yeah. I mean, it's really hard when you're playing against, uh, like, the thing about playing against Muse is, like, it's either you stay in shield or you, like, force it. Oh my god. First hit shield. Turn around. Do it again. Because, you know, see, Muse, you know, it's Muse, just gonna is a, work. Muse is a big bully. He always tells you to roll behind after the forward smash first hit, and then he just, just forward smashes in the other direction. Well, here's like, my... I swear, it works, guys, I swear. Uh, well, he, the, thing, the thing that I run into against his uh, forward smashes is he just... Uh, oh, my God, I'm doing things so wrong here. I'm sorry, fam. Um... The thing that I encounter a lot with uh, Muse's forward smashes is I just hold shield and then he breaks it. I've never gotten broke, shield broken by Muse. I'm happy though, because I, 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 I don't need to be a bigger meme. Everyone's already mean enough to me, but... You're right. He's gonna, uh, we're going to see some... Elwin oh, spikes, S yep. Was that an Elwin spike or is that just an SP? Uh, I don't possibly think, both. I don't think he was close enough for the uh, first... Because the you have to be really close to them and only the first hit spikes Yeah. with Elwin. The, but the other one can hit knock you at a yeah, sideways it, angle, which it, is a it, it stage similar, yeah. It stage spikes a lot. A lot of people are caught off guard by it. So it kind of looks... I mean, this is definitely something Johan oh, needed, nice but it's good tech. tech. Oh, we're going to see Punish after this? No. He, I think he should have just hit the ledge and just like, drop down, jumped, and then aerial punish. Are you sure talking about uh, Johan? Johan, yeah. yeah. Like, make sure he got to punish it. See, as you can see, even at like, these mid percents, aka not checkmate percents, uh, Johan's just not getting much off of his grabs. And Robin also has a really bad grab. Like the one, one of the, the worst grab range. In the game. Uh, he's the slowest character, so it's actually really hard for him to get grabs. Especially he, he has to use the roll cancel grabs to actually extend and get a lot of those. Uh, get the, a lot of the grabs that he normally does. But right now, it's not a bad deficit for Johan. He also has Arc Thunder, sorry, for, which use, locks them but... in place, even if they shield, which can get him grabs. But Arc Thunder is hard to use in this matchup because everything he's only does besides... I haven't seen Arrow interact with it, but I'm assuming it also just stops Arc Thunder. Johan's on... Yeah, see, Johan's on... It does. Full-on charge. Oh. Uh, you know, another thing about Robin's grab is it's also really laggy. So as you can see... It, he tried 14 frames, I think. 
Uh, I'm not sure. 14 to 18 frames. All I know is that he tried to shield grab Musa's flaggy forward air, and he got forward smash for it. Yeah. So, yeah, 78% of extra credit, but Muse, uh, Johan to a quick 46%. Really, um, lowering the lead. Only 28% lead for Johan here. He's gonna try to go for a Thorn. Maybe he'll hit it. It's also really hard for Robin to run away from Jack House because he, again, is the slowest character in the game. Dude, Muse is doing a really good job of avoiding a lot of the uh, projectile game that uh, Johan's been using. Fact, even even after the SD slash extremely early game, uh, at the beginning of this game, Muse has brought it back to be in his favor. See, it's just so hard for Robin to get any charges right now. He charges for like a few frames, and then he has to shoot. He has to cancel it, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got the Thor on now. How's he gonna use it? Just raw. Missed enough. I feel like he could get a lot more out of a Thoron if he possibly did a, uh... A grab from Robin will kill here. Um, but I feel like if, uh, Johan would get a lot more out of Thoron if he had, uh... Um... No thunder charges right now. This is looking bad for Johan. He's stuck in the ledge. He's back to the ledge again. Do a throw follow-up, possibly, oh. into Thoron. Something to set it up. Arc fire, Thoron, something. Johan definitely tried to up air there, but Muse did the smart thing, and he fastballed, so the lingering hitbox on up air uh, hit, hit Johan. Oh, the most that unsafe. Was oh, okay, that's it. Win, up air's gonna take it. That was the, uh, the worst bomb pull I have ever seen from Muse. Three steps ahead. I mean, a grounded bomb pull. He, does, at, he doesn't at, usually at be grounded. No, he doesn't. But that's bad. I feel like that might have been a misinput. He might have tried to short hop a uh, bomb pull like he usually does. What so, was that bomb pull? <laughs> the one that the, the last bomb pull you did. Okay. He says he forgot about falling up air. I mean, even a uh, checkmate would have killed there. That's true. So here we're not going to have as much uh, space as Town City did, so it's going to be even easier for Muse to smother Johan. But this is also Johan's one of Johan's favorite stages. I'm on a well, I like the stage, but it's not. I don't think it's good for Diddy. I think it's probably his worst stage. Same story. But that's beside the point. Let's go back to the match. Uh, so. We haven't seen Johan get used on the ledge much, so you can't make use of Robin's excellent uh, ledge trapping game yeah, with the arc thunders fire. and the oh, yeah arc fires and the thorns and arc thunders and stuff. Or just reading jump or an option. Like, the, uh, grab ball Pretty much weapon. anything. Like Robin's just incredibly good on the uh, edge guarding. Yeah, that's because arc fire stays out for so long. If arc fire had less lag. Uh, Robin would have one of the not the best ledge trapping games. Fair enough. Ooh. Oh, a rare flub punch. there. Ford, so, uh, I guess he probably might. I'm gonna trust that Johan. That was fair. I think that he's wanted out of that exchange, but. I mean, Johan punished the forward. I'm just gonna assume he didn't have time to get a turnaround grab. Call that a day. But, uh, upper ceiling is gonna make me think that checkmate won't kill just yet. Uh, now probably will. Even exactly even percent. But Johan's at the, at the advantage. Oh, or not. He's just really good at getting off the bridge. Because he always has a bomb, and bomb is just a uh, really scary Super thing. Super safe. To test. Yeah. Oh, oh running nice. Off. Run off fair. Good. Great awareness by Johan to realize he's going to try to go low and use those. In, uh, even if he can use can air dodge that. Oh my he... god, the rebuttal is super quick. Battlefield's a big stage, guys. Did you know that? Let's trump. We didn't get anything out of it. Yeah, Johan, buffering a ledge option. Smart thing you do. Oh, he's not gonna get the forward air. Oh, oh he got the so hard. he got the footstool actually, so he didn't have to up waste and up beat. That's gonna kill. Oh no, yeah. Oh, not sure if he had a grid on that. I didn't see any sparks, but oh, okay. I thought we were gonna see more in 22. See, like you, uh, Robin, he gets some follow-ups against like floatier characters at, at the extremely low percent. He'll get like jab, and at, like higher percent, he'll get uh, checkmate. But and then there's that. Giant range in the middle where he doesn't get anything. That's when he goes for like the zoning or stage control throws, like uh, forward throw, back throw. Yeah. Okay, very occasional up throw. Up throw's not great. 
I don't even think was that a jump I don't think that was a jump cancel toss. Johan, it didn't look like it. Johan is showing his inexperienced battles. Oh, no low level. Oh, level sword. Can, is he gonna go for Thorn? No, he's gonna go straight for Arc Thunder. Oh, he's gonna go for Arc Guard. Yep. Muse bomb. Oh, Muse bomb, blowing him up, not giving, doing him. Oh, oh. good job avoiding the bomb by Johan. This is super scary. Oh, is that a check? No. no. I feel like he's putting in a check. Not on the stage. Maybe at that percent, it might not work. Oh, that's oh. back air. Oh, oh, the no. bomb! I don't know if the bomb killed him there or not. I think so. Three steps ahead. Because there's like there's a really strong scaling in that uh, in the bombs. Arc Thunder uh, might have killed him outright, but we'll never know. Just bomb blew him up. Yo, Han, doing a dance. We're gonna see the reverse for you. I don't know, man. It's interesting stuff. Yeah, you do. So we're going back to town city. I guess Muse thinking he won. If this was this was Johan's counter pick, but uh, Muse thinking he won here. He can win on battlefield, so maybe this is better for him. Oh, great use of uh, L wing there by Johan. And up tilt string and feels like twenty one percent. Twenty one percent, but Johan. I feel like Johan's just really hitting this right now. Yeah. He's just uh, shielding. He's just not getting hit by many, as many things. He's hitting more. He's like, still not getting a ton of thunder hits, but he's getting some, which is way better than he was getting before, which was zilch. So I, I guess he, he charged up the arc thunder. He's not charging now. I'm assuming it's what he wants. Getting hit out of the star on it though. I th think if he got the hit. If he got the Arc Thunder hits and he managed to avoid the projectiles, he probably could have got over there in time to get an Ignis, which would have killed. Robin's busted. <laughs> Has really good kill options overall. Ignis on the ledge kills certain characters at around 30 because you free gimps. Ooh, it's great tech chasing on these platforms on Muse, though. Just juggling Johan. Johan's gonna take a little break while Muse runs Ooh, away. Ooh, tried for that falling things. up air. Falling up air is such a strong option, especially here on Town Will Johan hit a Thorn? Oh, oh, good back air. Thorn? Nope. Thorn? Yeah. That's it. Uh, Thorn doesn't kill. And by it, by I mean, yeah. like, connecting it. Oh, what was that? Okay, he doesn't That's die. Oh. He does not use forward airing that neutral get up. Aerial mobility of the B from Robin is just incredible. Yeah, he is it's so much hard to more punish. Like, yeah, you think it's like I think it's just normal aerial mobility, isn't it? Oh, well, just, just in general, yeah, it's really good. But I feel like I think free fall you get uh, altered. You usually like Zelda's. Oh yeah, Zelda's terrible on that. Um, but yeah, no, Robin's uh, aerial mobility and free fall is incredibly high. Oh, we almost uh, I expected a little bit of grab there. We're going to see Johan has Arc Hunter, I believe. Yep. Oh, oh, didn't get the spike. spike. Oh, he's oh, going to the correct side there. Not a really good force smash, but oh, the wall jump. wall jump. But he's gonna hit himself. Oh, oh tech. No, he didn't need the tech there. The, it wasn't gonna send my angle for the kill. Yeah, but you don't want to go too far from ledge. That puts you in a much worse stage so situation. So he's in a really good situation right now. He's got a grand, pretty big lead, and he can just—he's just gonna extend it more. Johan can kill him with just about anything. Oh, that's the yep. one. Well, let's see how Johan tries to bring this back. We're gonna hopefully he's gonna want to get in. He's gonna. I don't think that he's at a deficit per se. I mean, he. he I mean, damage output is, like is incredible. I mean, yeah, it's a deficit. But yeah, but Muse, uh, Muse also has incredible damage output with confirms into four. Oh, going for the fourth smash there. I would have probably would have killed. But getting dash attack out of it. We just need to see better shield from Johan right now. Because he's trying to go for these like the thunder like chips, just chipping some damage, but it's not working. Oh, that's oh, it. That... Oh, nope. just a taste of the masterful DI. Uh, What's it taste like? Ginger? Pickled ginger? Uh, I don't taste it myself. I just serve it. Oh, I, okay, okay. Well, I, I play Chuck a lot. I've, I've gotten a taste up a few times. I think everyone's uh, everyone's DI has tastes different. <laughs> oh, is that gonna be a kill? Oh. Yep. Okay. Incredible set by those two. Yeah. Incredible set. Yeah, go ahead. 